I can only go so low, but right here, that's where I just stopped cutting. I have to cut all this over. And can't get super low before it starts digging in the ground, so I do need to level this a little bit. I'm gonna keep going, but it's really dusty. Super dusty. It's just straight up straw. Pretty cool. This is the day after seeding. Um, kind of got rained out yesterday and then a late night roll, roll in the yard. But now um, the birds are really eating up my, my seed. What I do is put a little heat moss down and also my starter fertilizer. I'm gonna use this Scott's starter fertilizer. It also um, prevents uh, crabgrass dandelions for up to six weeks. So it has a little bit of a, uh, a weed barrier, but it does not affect the seed. So that's why I'm gonna use this today. So I'm gonna put this down first, and then the peat moss, and then I should be good to go. So let's get it down. So I'll go a little closer to this bag. It is a 21, 22.4. And for the uh, spreader setting for Scott's Rotary is a four and a half. So that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, for the spreader settings on this fertilizer. Let's get it thrown down. And we'll set this to four and a half. There it is. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, here's the peat moss. I was a little reluctant to use this because um, I've heard it doesn't break down very well in the soil, but the birds are having a field day on my seed, and uh, so I'm going to put something down just to give a little barrier um, between the, the birds and the seed. 
But yeah, it's pretty messy and I'm gonna try and do this without making a huge mess. Okay, so we're just doing an update today. Today is September 6th, and this is almost two and a half weeks after planting my seed. And I got a lot of patchy areas. They're not germinating all throughout the lawn here. Um, this side actually looks better than the front half. But I've been wondering why some spots are not germinating. And a good friend of mine from DCLD Grow, check him out on Instagram, he said that you stripped your lawn of nutrients when you burned it out. And I probably need to put some nutrients back in the lawn to help feed the, uh, the root system. So he gave me a product to uh, mix in some soil and put on the lawn. So let's check it out and see what I got. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be using, this Wiggle Worm Soil Builder. It's uh, pure worm castings, organic fertilizer. Um, it is a 100, it's all natural, as natural as you can get, uh, worm castings. And I'm gonna mix this in about a quarter bag to one bag of topsoil to about a half bag of this uh, organic humus and manure bag. Add these all together, make a little cocktail, soil cocktail, and then spread it on the lawn to help get some nutrients back in the soil so my uh, my roots can take hold a little bit better than what they were. So if I would have been smart before I did this seeding, I would have did a soil test to see um, what my soil was lacking or needed before I put seed down so I'm gonna try this we'll give it a shot and see if this helps so let's put this little mix together and then spread on the lawn Good, good mix of soil now. Good mix of topsoil, worm castings, and manure. Good. All right, so I'm gonna focus my attention on this area right here, where it's a little bare. Um, spread this out, thin but not too thin, so we get a good base in the soil, and uh, work it out from there. This is the gist of what I'm doing. Just a light layer of new topsoil with extra nutrients in it. Here's what I've done so far. Here's the spot I've not done yet. So you can see a difference. I'm not to totally covering the grass. I'm still leaving some, some grass, just a light layer, just enough to uh, make that soil a little, a little richer. Okay, so it's September 19th, it's been about a month since I planted my grass seed. So let's check out and see how the progress is a month later. Here's a month into it. Still got a few little thin spots, but it's definitely ready to be cut now. Got some long areas. It's kind of thin up here. 
but overall it is looking good nice and green nice and green i got some thin spots down here but it needs to be cut because it's getting long and cutting it will uh, encourage growth so let's get this first cut down All right, well the first cut's all done, and look it, I'm really encouraged by this. Looks really good, nice and green. Look at that. Again, I got a couple of air spots here, some thin spots up here, but I'll, they'll fill in. And wow, this is nice, I like this. I would say it was a successful lawn renovation and I'm happy with the results. GCI turf, tall type fescue. Water, water, water. It's the name of the game. Water, water, water. So watering is the game and I was, I'll, I'll admit, I was getting a little frustrated at the beginning. I thought I was going to germinate a little faster than it did. But, you know, it just takes time and patience. Nothing happens overnight, and you just gotta be persistent and follow your plan and just stick with it, and you will get results. Just stick with the watering, and it will grow. It will grow. So the timeline of this, I started July 25th is when I sprayed the uh, cleanup glyphosate onto the lawn, and it's now, and I seeded on I believe it was August 5th. I seeded and first cut was September 19th. So, no, I seeded on August 20th. I seeded August 20th. And so it was almost exactly a month before the first cut. So, yep, I am happy. I can't wait for next year. So I can cut it all year long and see how this uh, how this does in the hot months. It's supposed to be drought tolerant, so it definitely gets dry here July and August. So we'll put it to the test next summer. But with that, hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.